If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. A great feature of Publisher is that it lets you easily move and arrange all the objects anywhere you want on a publication page. This lesson shows you how to move, resize, and rotate objects in publication pages in Microsoft Publisher. To move, resize, or rotate an object in Publisher, first click the object to manipulate in the publication page to select it. After selecting an object in Publisher, it appears with a solid border showing small white circles and squares around its perimeter. These are the resizing handles. You use these to resize the object if needed. It also shows a small circle on a perpendicular line at the top of the selected object. This is the rotation handle you use to rotate the selected object. To move a selected object in Publisher, place your mouse pointer over its border any place where there is not a resizing handle until a small four-pointed arrow appears at the end of your mouse pointer. When that happens, click and drag the object to a new location within the page. When the object is over the desired location, release the mouse button to set its new position in the page. Note that you mainly use this moving technique with text boxes or other text-containing shapes. When moving pictures, you can usually hold your mouse pointer anywhere over the graphic to make the four-pointed arrow icon appear. Then click and drag it to a new location. You cannot do this to move text-containing shapes, as when you click into the middle of a text-containing shape or text box, you place the insertion point into the text box to edit the text it contains. So, you must use the border to move text-containing objects. Alternatively, to nudge a selected object incrementally in Publisher, press the arrow keys on your keyboard. To resize a selected object in Publisher, hold your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which to resize the object until the mouse pointer turns into a two-pointed arrow. Then click and drag in either direction indicated by the two-pointed arrow to change the size of the selected object. As you click and drag, a dashed border appears to show the new size when you release the mouse button. Release the mouse button after dragging it to the desired size. Additionally, when resizing objects in Publisher, to resize an object in all directions at once or proportionally, just hold down the Control key on your keyboard when you click and drag a corner resizing handle. To rotate a selected object in Publisher, hold your mouse pointer over the small circle at the top of the object until the mouse pointer turns into a circular arrow icon. When this occurs, then click and drag left or right to rotate the selected object. As you click and drag, a faded copy of the selected object appears to show the object's location when you release the mouse button. Then release the mouse button when it is in the desired location. Separately, you can also use the buttons on the Shape Format or Picture Format contextual tabs of the ribbon after selecting an object in the Publication page to resize and rotate the object. To adjust the page placement and rotation of the object, use the buttons in the Arrange button group on either tab. To adjust the vertical or horizontal size of the object, use the spinners in the Size button group on either tab. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www dot teachyoucomp dot com